Hello YouTube, it is Nova from 4 Guys in a Comic here, and I've got a big brand new omnibus um, that I'm going to go through with you guys in case you were uh, considering the purchase and wanted to know what you're getting into. Um, so, Bronze Age of Batman Brave and the Bold. For those of you that don't know, Brave and the Bold was, uh, for the most part, I don't know if there were any actual multi-issue arcs, but... There were these one-off uh, stories where Batman would team up with a certain character. Um, a lot of these issues, if not all of them, were written by uh, Bob Haney, uh, who is a great writer. Um, wrote, again, most of the Brave and Bold, and a lot of this stuff is really fun. So, what you get here is issues 74 through 106 of the series. Um, you know, you got artists like uh, Jim Apero and Neil Adams. Um, and I'm sure a few, a, a ton of other ones. I mean, it's very hard to even find uh, too many credits in this in this book from what I've seen so far. But anyway, um, 33 issues, uh, pretty good stuff. It's about a th over just over a thousand pages, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 125 U.S. dollars and 163 Canadian. So let's take the dust jacket off here. Um, as with all the other, you know, DC's been making their way through uh, the. Bronze Age, Silver Age, uh, Golden Age, they've already pretty much done for Batman, Superman, and uh, Wonder Woman, or will have done uh, very soon. Plain black, um, with just the emboss here, same thing on the spine, I'm not really going to show it, because there's really nothing that special. Um, so yeah, all these Silver, Bronze, uh, Golden Age books follow the same pattern. Um, so, just to take a look at some of the issue titles here. So yeah, um, got a lot of Neil Adams, Ross Andrew here, let's see, more Neil Adams, there's actually a lot more Neil Adams in here than I thought, Nick Cardi, I'm going a little fast, just feel free to pause it wherever you're interested in, a lot of Jim Aparo here, some more uh, Nick Cardi inking, but yeah, um, really fun stuff. Batman and the Metal Men. It's great. It's great. Why not? Um, I saw Batman and the Spectre here. Batman and Wonder Woman. Uh, really fun stuff. And it gets really good once you've got... Uh, once you get deeper into the Neil Adams, the Denny O'Neill stuff's really good. Um, just sort of get into the binding here. There's um, a lot of good stuff. Yeah, it teams up with Adam Strange. There's the Spectre in here. There's the Demon Etrigan. You know, whoever really you could dream of the creeper. Um, but let's look, take a look at the binding here. Nothing too crazy. I mean, they've got pretty big uh, margins here, so you're not gonna really lose anything in the gutter. But um, yeah, really fun stuff. You know, you got the Teen Titans as well. Just gonna keep sampling you guys the artwork here, so you can take a look at what you're getting into. But these are really good stories. I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're still Bronze Age, but they're actually entertaining to read. The reason I don't, didn't pick up too many of the Silver Age books is because Silver Age DC was, uh, not exactly the most exciting thing to read. Um, a lot of words, um, a lot of, you know, silly ideas, Batman, uh, as Neil Adams always likes to say, walking around in the daytime. Um... Yeah, there you go. Batman and the Demon. Um, but that's what you get. There's not much bonus content, really. I mean, this is one of those books where they're just really collecting a mass of content uh, in one nice hardcover for you, as opposed to, you know, finding these issues. Or, I mean, most of these aren't even available on Comixology. But, um, yeah, uh, hopefully I went through everything. If you guys have any more questions or concerns, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer it. Um, if you're a fan of comic books, uh, clearly you are, you're watching this. Uh, Four Guys in a Comic is a comic book podcast, so check us out. We've got interviews with guys like uh, Liam Sharp, who's currently penciling uh, Wonder Woman uh, monthly uh, alongside Nicholas Scott. Talked to uh, Steve Orlando, who's currently writing Supergirl and Midnighter and Apollo. Um, Scotty Young, bunch of guys, uh, so check it out. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. And until next time, you stay classy, Internet.